everyone, I just want to make sure at the end of this practice, after we do walking the clouds, you'll see the kindness pledge come on. That's your time to just relax in final relaxation and breathe for two minutes. And then we'll come back together at the event after the kindness pledge and seal our practice. Enjoy. Hey everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another chair yoga session. We want to start by making sure those sits bones are pushed very firmly into the chair and then we lengthen up all the way through the crown of our head, almost like someone has a little string that they're pulling out of the top of our head. From there, I'm checking with our feet. Make sure that you're pushing equally into all four corners, right? Maybe go up and back. They should be about two fists apart and the knees are stacked over the ankles, all right? This is our solid foundational mountain pose. From there, starfish fingers into the earth, squeezing those shoulder blades together behind us. Ah, congratulations! Today is a new day. No matter what happened yesterday, we're going to let that go. We get a new chance to start all over today. So if all you do is say, just for today, I'm going to be happy. You've done something awesome. So let's get started. We're going to go through some salutations, hold each pose for about three breaths, so that later in practice, when we do it one breath, one movement, you know exactly what your form should be. We always want to make sure we're squeezing our seat, right, to protect that lower back. Zip up that core. Inhale. Check this out. This is our extended mountain. A lot of times our shoulders go like that. We want to make sure we sink them back and down, starfish fingers, core engaged, Tailbone is tucked just a smidge into the chair. Big inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Keeping the head and neck in line with spine. We want to try and have that belly thigh connection so we can release the head and neck. Reverse the blood flow. Some of us may want to take modification where we leave our forearms here and gently shake the head no. Shake the head yes. This is where we kind of metaphorically dump out any negative thoughts. On our next inhale, placing the meaty part of our palms into our thighs and gently coming up to what we call a half lift. Notice how my eye gaze is at about a 45 degree angle to keep the head and neck in line with spine. Shoulder blades are squeezing together. Nice strong arms. Squeeze the seat. Inhale. Exhale, back to our fold. This time our hands become scoopers. Inhale, lift the toes, push through the heels, activating our glutes as we rise. And exhale, chair pose. Beautiful. So fingertips are shooting straight up and out. Chin is tucked, squeeze the seat. Inhale. And exhale, back to chair. Three more. Good. Inhale. And exhale, letting everything go. Last one. This time we're going to bring our hands to prayer right at our heart center. Big inhale. Come up about an inch, taking our right elbow, my left, your right, and trying to cross it over, connect it with that left thigh. This is a little spinal twist, kind of bringing out the lower back. Breathe, big inhale, come through center using the core, and exhale, simply switch sides. This is what we call our chair twist. It's just kind of waking up the lower back. Good. Squeeze the seat, inhale, sweeping our hands up, and exhale, blowing out the candle. Inhale, fog up that mirror. Inhale. Exhale through the teeth. One more round, rainbow breath, cleaning out our body. Inhale. Candle. Inhale. Fog up that mirror. Let me hear you. Inhale. Exhale through our teeth. Beautiful. Painting the sky with our left hand. Our right hand is just going to shoot into the earth or maybe we push it into the seat. Whatever feels good to you. Just want us to feel a little length all through our left side. Head and neck are in line with the spine, almost like one of those little seedlings growing up out of the earth. For three, 
two, one, inhale, see if we can reach a little higher, exhale, let it go, follow your hand with your eyes, this is a calming mechanism for the brain, inhale, sweeping our right hand up, exhale, pushing the left fingertips into the earth, or maybe we take the option to push it into our seat, this will help us elongate through our spine, core engaged, Inhale, can we reach a little higher? Exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweeping the hands in front and then reaching behind us, almost like we're holding one of those big beach balls. Good. Opening up through the chest. Core is on. Maybe some of us can grab the back of that chair and that's really going to allow us to feel that beautiful stretch all through the pectoral muscles, the chest. Try to keep the chin in a position where you can still swallow. We're here for three, two, and one. Using the core, squeezing the seat, inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Sweep the ear. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Really push through the heels. Squeeze the glutes. Using our muscles. Exhale, chair. Good. All right, we're going to get to our lower body. So maybe shake it out a little bit. On our next inhale, we're going to gently guide that right leg up. And exhale, find that foundation. Okay? So right leg opens on the inhale. And exhale, we close. So it's my left, your right. You're mirroring me. Inhale as we open. Exhale, close. Make sure that that opposite leg is staying nice and grounded. Exhale, maybe you release the right hand. See how that feels. Left hand can feel those obliques on the opposite side. They should be on. Good. Two more. Inhale. One breath. One movement. Good. One more. And exhale, close. Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Inhale to that half lift. Exhale, fold. Who's feeling good today? Inhale. Good. And exhale, chair. Beautiful. Hang out here. Re-engage the core. Squeeze your seat. Tuck the chin for three, two, one. Inhale, rise. And exhale. Onto the opposite leg. Inhale, gently guiding our left leg up. Exhale, finding that foundation, that nice tall spine. Core is zipped up. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. Inhale. And exhale. Check in with that foot. You could have it flex if you want. I prefer to just kind of let mine hang so that my adductors and my abductors are doing all the work. And that oblique. Definitely getting some work in. Three more here. Inhale. And exhale. Make sure those exhales are really deep. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Maybe one more just for good measure. Inhale. Exhale. Place the hands at the belly. Let's talk about that breathing. A lot of times we inhale, we want to suck everything in. I want you to inhale. Feel that belly go out bringing air into the deepest parts of our diaphragm. Exhale, push it out. Draw that needle to the spine. One more time, inhale. Super good for our brain. Hold it, take one more sip in, and let it go through the teeth. While you're gently pushing, right below the navel, beautiful. Make sure those shoulders are up, back, and down. Awesome, we prepare for moonflowers and sunflowers. If you'd like to, maybe grab a couple cans of soup. You can stay in your seat. We're going to make a V with our legs. If you do decide to stand up, make sure you come behind the chair so you have it for balance if you need it. And we're just going to track our knees with our middle two toes, right? So we don't want our knees doing that. We want them to be nice and solid, tailbone tucked, core engaged, chin parallel with the earth. Let's get right to it. Beautiful moon flowers. If you choose weights, go ahead and grab them now. We start in the plie squat. Inhale. And exhale. Notice how I'm not locking out my knees when I rise. I want to keep the heat and the meat in my seat. Inhale. Exhale. 
Chair option. Good. And exhale. Really slow. Maybe close the eyes. Exhale. Two more. Squeeze the seat. Exhale. Last one. And exhale. This time we're going to go into our sunflower. So this is where we cross our hands at the top. And then we hip hinge, keeping head and neck in line the spine, and cross at the bottom. Super important to squeeze the seat. Inhale, and exhale. Now, if you are standing, make sure those knees are tracking the middle toes and pushing out. Exhale, as we hip hinge. Inhale, rise, good. Exhale, hey, what a great time. On our next inhale, let's think of something we're thankful for. Exhale, I'm thankful to be here with all of you. Three more. Warming up, exhale, let it go. Make sure you're shooting that tailbone back, keeping a nice long spine on that hip hinge. Almost like you're scooping up a big basket of laundry, which I have been doing a lot of lately. Good, last one, come on up. Find moon flower, elbows to ribs, nice clean squat, hold. Our left hand becomes the seat belt, right hand paints the sky, eye gaze goes over to our left. Stretch, good. Big inhale, exhale, release. Anybody burning? I am. Right hand becomes the seat belt, left hand paints the sky, and we stretch. Squeeze that seat, tuck the tailbone. Inhale. And exhale. All right, shake that out. We're done with that part of class. Let's reach out. Those muscles are warm now. Maybe do a couple seated jogs. We're going to take our right leg. Inhale. Exhale, flex the foot. Bring it out. Your quadricep is engaged to release the opposing muscle group, the hamstring. So this is our seated pyramid pose. Make sure that that left leg is a nice kick stand. Right? Big inhale, lengthen through the crown. Exhale, hip hinge forward. Keep the head and neck on ice. We want to protect that beautiful spine. So this is a very personal thing. Some of us may be fine right here, feeling that. Others may want to try and walk our fingertips down, or maybe even hold onto the chair for support. Flex that right foot. That is really going to activate the lengthening feeling that we should feel all through the back of that leg. Good, breathe. Ah, sometimes we hold our breath when we stretch. Try not to. For three, two, one. Use the left forearm and gently guide our bodies up just about to full spine position. We're gonna go into triangle. So the right hand is our blade. It's gonna slice down the inside. I want us to first, before we go any further, push that left shoulder open and then see where the right fingertips take us without that left shoulder coming forward. This is about opening up. Some of us may want to reach high to the sky. Don't forget to flex. We engage that right foot. It's flexed. We can also hold the chair. Eye gaze can be down. If you're feeling a little wobbly today, then just keep the eye gaze down. If you want to challenge the balance, look up to that top hand. It's the point of our triangle. Ah, <sighs> great. Inhale and exhale using the core very slowly. Bring that left hand to rest on the left thigh. And we come up to mountain pose, taking it through two sun salutations, cleansing the body before we stretch the other leg. Inhale, exhale, woo. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, full, beautiful. Hands become scoopers, lift the toes, push through the heels, and rise. Exhale, chair. Good. Hold, hold, hold. Squeeze your seat. Engage the core. Inhale. Exhale. I want you to always be thinking about that all through practice. Inhale, the belly goes out. Exhale, bringing it in, getting all that stale air out. Okay? All right, our left leg. Inhale. Rise up and then bring it out. Flex left foot. Remember that engages that front part, the quad. So the hamstring can naturally release and we can get right to it. Let's first inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, 
and exhale, hip hinge. So our upper body is like a board. We're not doing anything with our spine. We're engaging our core. The right leg is our foundation. Get right to it. If you want to walk those beautiful fingertips down or maybe put them on the chair, maybe you're fine right here. This is your practice. I am just your guide. So breathe into the back of that leg. Say something kind to that beautiful foot. <sighs> you can check in with that right foot and kind of play piano with the toes. That helps spread those toes out. We're here for three, two, one. Use the right hand to gently guide the upper body up almost to full spine. Left hand becomes that blade, slices down the inside of our left leg. Let's do what we did on the uh, opposite side. Start up at the thigh and then push, very slowly, mindfully push the right shoulder open. Then we can slice that left hand down. Remember, the most important thing is that we don't let that opposite shoulder draw forward. Hand can be on the chair, or maybe we go to full triangle. You do what works for you. Remember, looking up will challenge the balance. So we can always keep the eye gaze down. We're still getting all the benefits. Oh, re-engage that foot. I just noticed mine wasn't flexed. Flex, flex, flex. We're here for three. Breathe. Two. One. Inhale. Exhale. Release the right hand to the thigh. And gently push ourselves up. We have two rounds. Sun salutations. Inhale. <sighs> Inhale. Half lift. Fold. Inhale. Really push through the heels to activate those glutes. Exhale. Chair. One more round. Inhale, you guys are doing awesome. Fold. Half lift. And exhale. Inhale, rise. And exhale, finding chair pose. Yes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and come on up and we're going to go for our wrap. So taking the right leg, crossing it over, and we walk that left foot in. So we're trying to line everything up with our navel. This is our eagle wrap, our detox pose, which we all, we all can benefit from this. Squeeze the thighs, maybe point and flex that top foot. Your right leg is on top, right arm goes under left. And we just worked our brain anytime we cross that midline, right? So shoulders are open, they stay on ice. Inhale, gently guide the fingertips up. Exhale, elbows come straight down. Good. It's a very subtle movement. Inhale. And exhale. We're just massaging all those muscles around the shoulders. Inhale. This time as we exhale, we hip hinge while drawing our elbows to our navel. Oh, re-engage those thighs. Make sure we're squeezing them. Point and flex that top foot. Check in with that left knee. Make sure it hasn't gone in. Nice. Breathe. Ring out the internal sponge for three, two, one. Really push into that left heel to activate the glutes to protect the lower back. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, and exhale, chair. Beautiful. Same thing, other side with our eagle wrap. Inhale, rise, and exhale, hands come to heart center. Gently guide that left leg up, and heel toe, the right foot, cross it over. So biggest thing, we wanna make sure that right knee stays stacked over the ankle. We squeeze those thighs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice, long, tall spine, shoulder blades squeezing together. And then we open them up as we dive that left arm under our right. Left leg is on top, left arm is under. Squeeze, check in with that right knee, make sure it's not going in. Inhale, fingertips rise. Exhale. Squeeze, 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 inhale. And exhale, maybe just close the eyes. Inhale. This time as we exhale, we all hip hinge forward. Squeeze the forearms together, squeeze the thighs. Make sure you have a nice, beautiful, long spine. We're here for three. Squeeze, two, 
One, push through the right heel using the glutes. Rise. Exhale, release. Beautiful. <sighs> Finding mountain pose. So the next part of class is working the core. If you typically end class on your back, you can get rid of your chair and join me on the mat. Hey, so we are starting with our floor work now. You can absolutely do these poses from the chair. I'm first modeling the floor. I also have one of my yoga blankets. You could get a towel. It just lifts the seat, kind of providing you a little bit of help, keeping that long spine. From here, we grab the ankles, lengthening through the crown of the head. If you choose to stay in the chair, no worries. It's just about opening up the hip flexors. And you're just going to stay right about here in butterfly. If you're with me on the earth, just get to a place where you feel a little bit of length in the adductors. And we breathe, squeezing the seat is going to help kind of release those knees closer to the earth. And just breathe. Some of us may want to kind of gently round through the spine very mindfully, never doing anything fast. And this should feel really good in the up here in the neck area, letting everything go. We can even maybe do a couple head shakes. And when we're ready, re-engaging the core, coming up to that tall spine. We're simply going to close the legs and bring them straight out in front of us. So this is our staff pose. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my towel. Again, totally can do this from the chair. You will just be like this with your feet straight out and hip and forward. Those of us on the earth, we're going to go as far as we can without rounding through the spine. So a lot of times I like to pretend I have paint on my fingers and I'm just drawing them. Keeping that head and neck in line with the spine. Feet should be about two fists apart. Now, once you have this nice foundational pose, then we can bring the hands and kind of just see where they take us without jeopardizing that long spine. Some of us may be able to reach our toes, but it's not a competition, right? This is for our bodies. It's a very gentle, Lengthening of the back of the legs. It's almost like a seated forward fold. We're here for three, two, and one. Awesome. Come on up to that natural pose. We're just going to do some head drops. If you're in your chair, you're just seated in mountain pose with your legs at bent. Drop that left ear over to the left shoulder. Reach the right hand back. And just enjoy this little release all through the side. Breathe. <sighs> Beautiful practice today. Remember, today's a new day. We have another chance to be amazing. Let's go ahead and release, and we simply switch sides. So very, very slowly drop that right ear. Remember, you're mirroring me. Left hand goes behind. Option to take the eye gaze to the floor, or maybe just looking straight ahead. Reaching that back hand a little bit further will definitely Accentuate the stretch you feel. So just focus on you, let go, close the eyes. We have a little bit of core work to do and then we are done. Awesome. Come on up. The next thing is walking the clouds. Make sure you have something safe for your head and neck. 
Six bones are at the edge of your chair. And you are simply here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now, if this is hurting the lower back, we can shorten the lever and maybe come up here. Inhale. And exhale. Exhale. Okay, so we're all in this together. If you're on your back, just breathe. Remember, we inhale as we reach opposite hand to opposite leg. Exhale as we release. We're working our core. Let's go ahead and do five more on each side, wherever you're at. Release. Walk in the clouds. Breathe. <sighs> Letting everything go. Once you've done about five more on each side, we're just going to lean back either on, the yoga, on your yoga mat or towel or in your chair and find our final relaxation where we just let everything go. Spend about two to three minutes in this pose, just kind of thinking about how we're melting either into the chair or our yoga mat. today for that beautiful practice. I hope you got just what you needed. I hope today is an amazing day for you. We end with our final kind of seal of our practice, inhaling together. As we exhale, pause at those brains. May we use them for kind thoughts, our mouths to speak kind, truthful words, our hearts to show compassion to ourselves so we can share compassion with those around us. The light in me honors the light within you. Namaste.